Hey guys, in this video I will show that poor sizing of a home's plumbing can create a situation in which air can cause the pipes to clog. Here we have this structure made up of a board to which a transparent tube has been fixed that goes up and down a few times and at its entrance there is a container that can receive water. Note that the base of the container is at the same level as the tube outlet. When we put water at the inlet of the tube, it fills the tube and expels air until it comes out the other end. This is the expected behavior for water in the pipe. Now we place some pins at the highest and lowest points of the tube. Let's remove the pins and let air enter the highest points of the tube. Now let's replace the pins. Let's put water back into the tube inlet and see what happens. Did you expect this? Do you know why water can't flow as freely as it used to? Well, the explanation is that the water located in the first column on the left side of the tube must have enough pressure to lift the water until it surpasses the columns located on the right side one after the other and expel air from the pipes as you do so. Now, to overcome the first column on the right side, it must lift the waiter inside the tuba and also push the air in front of it, which is now no longer free to move as there is a portion of water in front of it, which in turn must push another portion of air that is also blocked by another column of water. So now the water in the first column on the left must raise two other columns of water. This column plus this column whose effects will be added together. If we imagine that this hose is the plumbing of a house and that the pins are taps or toilets, the water flow from the pipes may be interrupted whenever the water in your home's reservoir is emptied and the pipes are partially emptied. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.